In this video, we'll look at the main highlights from the career mode squad update from the 19th of May. But just a usual reminder to access any of the new players or ratings in this video, you will need to start a brand new FIFA 22 career mode with the downloaded latest squads. Sadly, once again, Alejandro Garnacho from Manchester United still hasn't been added to FIFA 22 career mode. However, there were several new players added with a decent potential, the first of which is Harula Urkip from Kasserispor. He's a left midfielder 18 years of age, overall of 58 and a potential of 79. Bruno Perveda from Club Deportivo George Wilstermann. He's a goalkeeper 17 years of age, overall of 64, potential of 79. Maximo Perone from Vélez Sarsfield, he's a central defensive midfielder 18 years of age, overall of 63, potential of 79. El Shaddai Bichiebu from PSG, he's a centre-back 16 years of age, 6 foot 5 tall, overall of 62, potential of 80. Valentin Gomez from Vélez Sarsfield, he's a centre-back or left-back 18 years of age, overall of 63 and a potential of 80. But the highest potential new player added was Agustin Giai from San Lorenzo. He's a right wing back or central midfielder, 17 years of age, overall of 64 and a potential of 81. Moving on to players who have had their ratings updated, kicking off with the biggest upgrade of the week for Fabiano Parisi from Empoli. He's had a plus 2 overall to 66 and a plus 2 potential up to 80. Next up we have Tottenham Hotspur winger Janiel Bennett who's had a plus one overall to 64 and a plus one potential up to 81. FC Cluj winger Claudio Petrilla he's had a plus one overall to 69 and a plus one potential up to 81. Next up is a real face wonder kid whose potential continues to be lowered. Chavi Simons from PSG who's had a further minus one potential downgrade to 81. Racine Club Lons winger David Costa, he's had a plus one overall to 72 and a plus one potential up to 81. Burnley central defender Nathan Collins, he's had a plus one overall to 75 and a plus one potential up to 82. Swiss side Luzerne central midfielder Philippe Erzrinic, he's had a plus two overall to 74 and a plus two potential up to 83. Featured in my career mode team of the season, Nantes left back Quintin Merlin has been upgraded yet again. Plus one overall to 67, plus one potential up to 84. He seems to get upgraded every single squad update. Roma left midfielder Nikola Zalowski. He's had another plus one overall to 70. His potential stays the same at 84. RB Salzburg central attacking midfielder Luka Sucic. He's had a plus two overall to 72. And a plus one potential up to 84. Lille central defensive midfielder Amadou Anana. He's had a plus one overall to 73. His potential remains at 84. The joint biggest upgrade of the week goes to Tottenham Hotspur's teenage midfielder Alfie Devine. Who's had a plus two overall to 60 and a plus two potential up to 85. Crystal Palace centre-back who's in desperate need of a real face, Mark Gahey. He's had a plus one overall to 77 and a plus one potential up to an exciting prospect, 86. The penultimate rating change this week goes to Roma and England striker Tammy Abraham who's had a plus one overall to 81 and a plus one potential up to 86. And finally, you've probably guessed by the thumbnail, is the Arsenal centre-back who's been the league uh, young player of the year whilst on loan at Marseille, William Saliba, plus one potential up to 87. So those were the main highlights from the career mode squad update from the 19th of May. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please remember to tune in next time, but until then, it's FCG out.